Hello everyone, you have joined us this week and you're watching the news for the week of the 27th February through the 3rd of March. I'm Amina. And I'm Karima. And this is Good Morning ACS. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Jokes Week with Alia Daffrey. Why do teenage girls travel in numbers? <laughs> because they can't even. What do computers eat for snacks? Microchips. Why did this selfie go to prison? It was frayed. What does a school and boiling water have in common? Steam. Hello everyone and welcome to Book Talk. For our first book, we have The Conjurers, Book 1, Rise of the Shadow. Siblings Emma and Alex tumble into a secret world where magic is real and skilled illusionists can perform and uh, Actual tricks for better or for worse. Perfect for the fans of Magic, Misfits, and the Land of Stories. Our next book is Golden Girl by Reem Faruqi. And uh, this is a coming of age middle grade book in written in verse about a seventh grader, Afia Kamar, a Pakistani American girl who hatches a special plan to help her family, but finds that doing what's right isn't always easy. And for our last book, we have a book that's soon to come out, All My Rage by Sabah Tahir. And um, this is a novel based on her own childhood, uh, being raised in her family's motel, and uses the story of two childhood best friends growing up as outcasts to explore cultural identity and intergenerational trauma. Thank you for catching your weekly news updates with Good Morning ACS. Have a great week. Hey guys, welcome back to Roving Reporter. For this week's um, video, we're gonna continue exploring the different personal project products. And today I'm gonna interview two kids from grade 10. One of them is Omar. Hi. <laughs> okay, Omar, I have a few questions about your personal project products. First of all, what was your product? My product was a tabletop board game. Cool. So like, what kind of board game was it? Um, it's similar to chess, someone could say, where you'll have two teams, uh, one player in control of each team, and you're trying to take a castle in the center of the board. Okay, interesting. So, how did you go about making the product? What was your process? Uh, first off, I set up a action plan, so I knew what I would have to research, what resources I would have to gather, and in what order I'd have to do it in. I also set due dates, so I didn't miss any uh, deadlines that I set for myself, because of course the personal project's really intensive, you don't want to be late on anything or else you're going to fail. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um... So you made your the game from scratch, like Completely. you you came up with the ideas and everything for the yeah. game. That's amazing, honestly. Thank you. So what did you find the most challenging about your process? In all honesty, it was actually finding the resources for making the product because with COVID and everything, um, a lot of the stores that I expected to sell the resources I needed, like transparent acrylic, couldn't find any of that. So, you know, if anyone is making a board game in the future, obviously l look past just local, you know, um, places for resources, look online, try and see if any online places sell any of those resources that you need for your product. Okay. So what suggestions or advice would you have for other people who are going to do this? Uh, don't miss any due dates. You know, I missed a lot and I, saw you know the effect i had to worry about a lot of stuff and i was really stressed if you stay on your plan and you don't miss any due dates the personal project will be easy flow and what did you enjoy the most about making your project definitely gathering data because i got to go to other students get their thoughts about what board games they liked you know what resources they want it's very fun okay one more question it's not like required or anything but did you get a name for your um, board game um not yet <laughs> okay that's okay thanks for your time omar maybe we'll see you again but yeah thank you guys for watching 
Hey guys, I'm here with Maho. Okay, he did. We're gonna interview him about his product for the personal project. So, what was your product? Uh, my product was a sustainable hoodie. Okay, cool. So, what did you? What process did you have to go through to make? Uh, when I made the hoodie, I had to make like a lot of basic sketches first and start with small designs on the hoodie that I wanted to make. And then after that, I took pieces of paper and I cut out the proportions and everything. And I put that into cotton. I made it into cotton. Okay. So what did you find the most challenging about that? Uh, definitely the sewing as well as making like the designs because a lot of the time I couldn't really think of anything. But yeah, the sewing as well. The sewing was really hard. So what did you enjoy the most? Um, probably the end product, because I liked the way it looked. But it wasn't to my like, standards, but I still enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed making it a lot. Yeah. So what suggestions or advice do you have for anyone who's going to do the personal project next year or in the future? Uh, I'd definitely say time management is very important, because if you leave everything to last minute, it won't really work out well. I think time management seems to be a common theme for everyone who we had on this show. Okay, so of course the product isn't everything. We still have to do the report and yeah. But thank you, Mahel, for your time. Maybe we'll see you again. Thank you guys for watching. Congratulations to our grade 12s as they celebrated last Thursday, 24th February, 100 days until graduation. Wow, time flies. Good luck and as acceptances begin to roll in. Literacy connects us, 27th February through 3rd March, middle high school themes. Every day, go read outside. Tuesday, the, gener the genre personality quiz. Wednesday, book swap, book swap. And Thursday, character dress up day. For lower school literacy daily themes, Tuesday, March 1st, literacy and maths. Wednesday, March 2nd, literacy and the arts. Thursday, March 3rd, March 3rd the character parade. Like to sing? Want to sing in a group? Join the middle high school choir. See posters around school and fill out the form to sign up. Contact Miss Sandra, the lower school music teacher, for more information. The Grade 12's Art Exhibition, Creativity on the Edge. The Grade 12's Art Exhibition opens next week. Mark your calendars from the 6th to the 10th of March in the theater. Great Tolls have been preparing for this exhibition to, to share their work for two years in the art course. The Great Tens Virtual Personal Project Exhibition. The Great Tens have shared their personal projects with the community on the 22nd of February through the virtual exhibition site. Projects range from the arts to the sciences and everything in between. Students have written songs and performed songs, learned how to play instruments, and developed cookbooks and cookbooks and vegan meals, vegan meal plans, analyzed pad fertilizers, coded games and apps, built PCs, and so much more. Be sure to check out the virtual site and see how amazing our great tents are. Virtual Art Night, February 24th, from 5 to 6 on Zoom. Students across the middle high school gave some amazing performances that highlighted the talent and commitment of ECS students across the perform performing arts. Here are some highlights of the, of the evening event. ACS's International Fair was on the 27th of February. Each year, the school celebrates the cultural diversity of our students and staff. 
There will be different activities and celebrations across ACS Doha for the P um, that the PSO and the community presents throughout the day. Here are some of the highlights from the day.